Hey, what's going on everybody? Dave here with uh, today's little video. <clears throat> this one is on the um, G-System Xeon uh, conversion. So I've got the head all done up. Um, magnetized. Might have went a little overboard, but um, it had a little detail that was in here and I decided to go ahead and replace that. Uh, with a metal bit um, let's see so I'll just slap this together real quick now this part will get glued in um, when I'm ready for it I still need to mount a magnet under here I had to uh, pry out the stock ones um, that were in there because the Chinese ones are crappy um, but to start off with we'll put the faceplate on and this will help with the paint process too, but I like going overboard and magnetizing everything. So the mono eye part, and we'll do this a little bit later, it's this piece. And I have that, so it can swivel if you want it to. Um, you've got the little detail piece that goes in the back of the head here. So that's going to be all nice and secure you've got these side pieces and they're marked accordingly because they have the cutouts so just like so we have the back panel here which once it's all painted will just get glued into place you have the overhead piece now I did the I drilled out these and I have um, these little bits. And there's going to be uh, one in each side over here, vent vent uh, bits. So this is all magnetized, so it pops right in. And then let's see. I haven't put in the clear part, of course, because this still has to be painted. And then we've got the antennas, which are magnetized. So there you have. So focus on it the 1100 scale Xeon uh, conversion head it's all done and ready for primer um, I'm going to true up these a little bit because there's a couple little dimples in here with their plastic um, but I will probably prime this um, tomorrow after work um, one of the modifications that I ended up doing now this is the standard light um, I was showing this on Facebook, but this is the standard light that comes with it. And what's absolutely retarded um, about it is if you look here on the instructions, it shows to feed it through the head, feed it through on, oh, where is it? The neck piece here. You can see right here that there's the two little loops. Um, the negative and positive is supposed to go through each one, but this is all one unit. So you still have to hack it apart to put the lights through to resolder it again to put it in there. So I'm doing away with that anyway um, because this is getting fully lit. Um, what I did is I took from the Gunpla Builders uh, set the, the mono eyes. So I took one of those out um, I drilled a hole in and then I put the the micro LED in and what I can do is if I can connect this real quick what this is going to do is run off of um, three double-a uh, batteries uh, all the lighting systems gonna run off of three double-a batteries and sorry I'm just kinda half-ass hooking this up trying to anyway just so you can see the light do, 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 do. Oh. not supposed to hit the camera okay so you can see that that is super bright um, I'll black out the, the back side on it and I think 
that's getting really washed out because the camera's not wanting to focus on it. But anyway, it's it's super bright. I really like the I really like it. Um, and you can see in there that the little detail and stuff like that. So they'll look really good all painted up, um, even when the light's off. I've just got to remember to stick some uh, sticky tack or uh, um, rubber cement, not rubber cement, masking rubber uh, over the LED so that when I um, prime it and paint it, uh, I don't paint the stupid light. <clears throat> anyway, these lights are actually really cool. Um, I got them from uh, uh, plunderrun.com. Um, they're one millimeter in diameter. They come in all kinds of colors and they come pre-wired and it already has a resistor um, soldered into it. So that saves you the hassle. Now with these, the downside is the resistor is all the way like kind of far down. So if you needed it close, but the nice part is you can always snip this and then just solder it closer up um, with no big deal. Uh, at least the resistor is there and it's already taken care of. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, stick with me. I'm probably going to start working on the main body next and uh, get that all mocked up and get it ready. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one and peace out.